today I'm working with a with another brand this is called this company this brand is called Marka Arts Marka.Arts you can search that over Facebook and Instagram so I went I went to my friend Kim the owner of Marka Arts and asked her if she needs some help with cutting some pics for for Marka Arts. I went there to get these Philippine mahogany and it's got these templates for picks, guitar picks. She also gave me a reject sample of the product she makes. I'm trying to use my tools to cut it and probably will give me a position in Marka Arts as a cutter. <laughs> I'll, I'll try the mitre saw for this one. I now have two pieces. The other one I will try to soak in water and the other one I'll try to chip off still using this and some chisels I have here. I think it's already soaked. I'll let this soak first for a few couple of minutes and the dry one, this is the dry one. I'll, let's see what's faster, what's more efficient and to the mitre soak. Well, it's not very safe in the mitre, so I had some chips, cracks, of chip, chipping here, happening. Now I'm gonna move on with the chisel. I had a crack. See, it's not that safe using a chisel and a mallet. The best solution is a jigsaw upside down or sander or a band saw, scroll saw. I need to make a jig now. This was soaked in water already. Now um, I'm gonna use the mitre saw to chip off the big, big parts and then do it again with the chisel. And then, and then make a jig, probably, if it doesn't work. So I think it worked better if you soak the wood first before doing the cuts. I think it, it worked better because it didn't made a very big crack on the template. Okay, now I'm going to sand it using my random orbital sander. I think it worked best with soaking the wood first and then chipping off chipping it off a little bit with the mitre saw and then with the chisel with a very small chisel and then sanding it using the random orbital sander and a jig I made. I made a simple jig to utilize my jigsaw. We'll see about that. Oh, it works!